I headed back to my safe house and kept thinking about the letter. I know they're trying to manipulate me, but keepers never alter the truth. Just keep it in the shadows. Besides, it's not like I got a lot of leads anyway. If you seek the private knowledge of the sheriff, go to the Eastport Mechanist Seminary tomorrow night. With stealthy discretion, overhear what you may at a certain very timely meeting. Looks like I have something useful to learn from a seminary for a change. There are two open towers and some back doors which might be helpful for getting in. The catacombs below the church could be another way in, but I'd rather not tread where the dead sleep. The meeting will most likely take place in some sort of conference hall. <laughs> There's no guarantee that I'll even be able to get inside, but all I need to do is get close enough to listen at the door. I better pull this off quickly and find a new hideout before the Bulldogs get my scent. This situation does have one advantage. Things can't get any worse. Who could hire someone like the Sheriff to kill me? Okay then. So, eavesdropping. Uh, the Keeper's... Tips are your best lead, so you'd better be at the door to overhear the sheriff's conversation. It should start when the church bells toll midnight. You'll, uh, sorry, you'll need to stay close to the door to ensure it's, so you hear every word. The mechanist seminary was once a hammerite cathedral, so there's bound to be plenty of trinkets lying about. Steal at least one thousand two hundred in loot. Uh, killing is the mark of an amateur. <laughs> Don't kill anyone. Yes, yes. Once you're done, get back out by heading to the front gate. Okay. Continue. Let's check our gear. No helpful tips this time. Visitability potion sounds handy. But then, do I really need it? As a cash. Looks good. I'm gonna buy a bunch of them. And moss arrows are important in this mission, I have a feeling. Noisemakers. Do I have any? I have no noisemakers at the moment. Could buy one. No, these are for emergencies, but I don't think I'll be using them that much. <laughs> just, just forget what happened in the last mission. It's it, it it won't I won't repeat that experience, I promise. So a couple more of those. Uh, I have ten moss arrows. That should be enough, shouldn't it? Surely it's enough. No, it's not. We'll have some more. And I don't know. Water arrows, I guess. So the only things I can afford. So we'll have <laughs> two more moss arrows. Big deal, but <laughs> we'll have them anyway. I'd sell the flares if I could, because to be honest, I've never used them for anything ever since. Ever since you could <laughs> adjust your brightness in the game, it's never been that useful. It does detract from the experience, of course, if you have a high contrast and and gamma and everything but I have to see something and I can't go around sneaking with some flares around and it's a really short period of time that does illuminate things so I know it's good when you can't see how deep some dark hole is I guess and you drop one down and then you see the bottom eventually um, items for sale, yes, yes, we've got everything, I think. They're virtually invisible anyhow, so we don't need an invisibility potion. But we do need moss arrows, because the whole place is made of metal. It's going to be annoying. So, play mission. And here we are. First of all, we're going to save. There we go. 
Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. It's me again, Jukester, your favourite cat burglar, and we're about to continue where we left off. Um, which is here. I obviously took a break from... Whoa. Before starting this. It's been a few days. Uh, now, we are about to... Uh, find out why the sheriff wants to kill us. So our job is to be in position to overhear the sheriff's conversation when the church bells toll midnight. You'll need to stay close to the door to ensure you hear every word. And then you're going to steal all everything. And when you're done, you're done. Basic stuff. But what we're going to do now is we're going to find ourselves the chapel. Or a door to the chapel. I think I actually remember this mission pretty well. And it should be around here somewhere. Hello? Reveal thyself. Nope. What? Hello? The card sounds different. It sounds young. And, it li and inexperienced. Unless of course that was another girl. There's a bunch of girls all over the place. Women, I should say. Right, if I do... Uh, is it here? Where is it? It's supposed to be around here somewhere. The reason I'm jumping over these is because they made their freaking roads or pathways. That's, a, that's not a road, you can't call that a road. But they made their pathways out of metal. I mean, really, it's not even cement, which would make more sense to me. Where in the real world do you find paths made of metal? Not m in many places. These that was. God, these things are freaky. Try and discover him. I don't even know if I can knock that thing out. I'm gonna have to save. Crap. See what that is. Yeah, this is. This is for working out. I don't even w know if I want to go in there. There's a reason I brought my moss arrows along. I'll start using them straight off. So I just, I'm just, just a little worried that you can't knock these things out. Strange. I wonder what kind of work the mechanists do here. The hell? <laughs> oh, it did work. Good. I'm pleased. Ah. Um. Uh. Well, this looks ominous. Looking at that, and then looking at this. What does it all mean? Is that...? I can hear them breathing, so they're alive. <laughs> they're alive! Yeah. Okay then. Well, this is getting even creepier. Save again before we dive into this. I could really learn to hate these guys. I already do. Are there any goodies here? <laughs> Doesn't take a huge amount of effort to hate the hate the mechanists. I mean, they're they're worse than the. Freaking hammerites and that ever. 
bad enough. Okay. So. Okay. Freaking ancient, ancient hammer. It's, it's an ancient hammer. We need to put it back to its place. How do you drop it? Graveyard of unspeakable horrors. Well, no. It's, it's uh, they they purge all their ground pretty well. That just leaves us with the guards. I hide it behind the gravestone. I think that's the door we were looking for. This isn't working out. It sounds like someone's laughing or something. Something something strange is going on. But we, what we were gonna do is go here. It's made of stone. Better not disturb them. I can hear the meeting just fine from out here. Now we gotta stay quiet. Shutting up for now. Waiting for them to start. Behold, Sheriff Truett, from the lowly street rat emerges the loyal worker, that which I call the servant. This is one of the tramps I delivered to you. The transformation is spectacular. And neither want nor worry has he. Lucky fellow. <laughs> Strange you should mention worries, Garrus, because I do have one. It's not that the money's not right, no. It's just that I need to be convinced you've taken the proper precautions. The truant name is untainted by scandal, and I will not be the one to bring it humiliation and ruin. Trust thee in me, for it is the builder himself who guides me, and the Baron need never know. Yes. I'm glad your builder guides you, but it would make me feel even more confident if you were to let me in on your whole scheme. Come now, what's the crux of it all, eh, Garrus? Show me what's so special about your new servants. Ah, uh, it is impossible to hide anything from you, good sheriff. I will give the full explanation then in the form of a demonstration. The visual in this instance would far surpass any verbal elaborations I could relate. But I must ask thee to step away from the masked servant, that's right. And meanwhile, I will retrieve our volunteer, a most unfortunate gutter snipe who waits just outside. Come, come, gentle beggar, and stand thee just there, next to the masked man. Yes. Now, all is in readiness, so keep thine eyes on the new arrival, whilst I signal the servant. Thusly. My word! The mask emits a red vapor! Continue thy observations, Truett. But it consumes them! We are in peril! Fear thee not, stout sheriff, for we are safe at this distance. See, already the reaction ceases. They are gone! And what remains in their stead? Sand? No. Rust. Indeed, tis very much like rust and harmless once settled. 